So why don't we go ahead and solve an example problem from the first law, okay? And here's what the problem states. I have a stationary, I talked about this, this is a pretty important terminology, closed, you know, you've got to read it carefully. System has a mass of 2 kilograms, okay? The system receives, receives 9 kilojoules of heat transfer, perhaps from the surrounding, right? And there's 1 kilojoule of heat transfer to the surrounding due to the temperature differences, okay? Actually, these kind of questions, my recommendation is draw your system, okay, immediately. So my box, very simple, my box is the uh, my system. And I write what I read from the question. Here's what it says, I'm just reading it. It is a heat transfer input, I'm getting 9 kilojoules, right? And I also have a Q out, and that's pronounced to be 1 kilojoule, right? So far so good, correct? So I, I, I reject one kilojoules of the heat transfer that comes into my system to the surrounding, okay? I, okay, do we know where this is coming from, where this is going? Not really, but it doesn't really matter, okay? There is also work done on the system, okay? Red, on, on the system. If it says on the system, it means that work in, okay? So this is a work in. So, in the amount of 5 kilojoules, and it says it is 5 kilojoules, okay? If the specific, you have to read carefully, if the specific internal energy of the system, its initial state is 110 kilojoules per kilogram, so this is my U1. Find the internal energy of the system, its final state, internal energy, not specific internal energy, it's asking me the capital U2, okay? So you can see what's happening over here. Having a diagram makes the life so much easier, okay? And what I will do is, if you look at this, let's go ahead and write the first law. So it's gonna look like this. E in minus E out is equal to the energy change of the system that I have. Okay, E in. So E in will have two components because it's a closed system. So I'm gonna have the heat transfer in minus heat transfer out, right, plus, the work in minus work out will be equal to, now, delta E it has three components, right? Delta PE, delta KE, and delta capital U. Delta PE and these two, I, I discussed this in the previous segment, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to rehash it, but it's going to be zero for stationary system because that's what the question tells me, stationary, right? So then my delta U will be simply U2 capital U2 minus U1, okay? Then I simply go out and uh, use the information that I know. So Q in, looking at this uh, system that I have over here, will not keep any, gonna be too difficult to write, okay? Actually, let me go up a little bit. So it's gonna be nine kilojoules is entering my system as heat transfer. One kilojoule is leaving my system as heat transfer. You can see over here, I get myself five kilojoules entering my system because it says the work done on the system, okay? Minus the work out, I, didn't, I wasn't getting any information what is the work done by the system, okay? So then this will be U2, which is being asked to me, minus, what about capital U1? I am given the specific internal energy over here and then I'm giving per kilogram. If, as my system includes 2 kilograms, so then this will be 110 kilojoule per kilogram times 2 kilograms, right? And you can clearly see 100, uh, you know, the kilograms will cancel here, and I will have a, a homogeneity in my units. So then this, what does it become? Uh, 8 plus 5 is 13 kilojoules will be equal to U2 minus uh, 220, right? So if I rewrite this, I'll get my U2 to be 233 kilojoules, right? And the question is asking me in terms of the, uh, you know, uh, kilojoules. So bam, that will be your answer, 233 kilojoules. Thank you for watching this.